So I have been playing Fortnite on keyboard and mouse for two years now and I have made a lot of changes in my settings during these two years and I try to optimize a lot of these settings. So these are from what I think are the best settings. So for the first setting you want to change, uh, you actually need to go to DirectX 11 uh, first. Because here you have a lot of these settings that you can't see on performance mode. And basically everything needs to be off uh, unless you want to see your F FPS. Except for this one, which is NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, uh, which needs to be turned on on plus boost. I will link uh, a video from Slyjack uh, where he covers it very well uh, why you should turn this setting on but I won't go further into depth. Uh, then you can go back to performance mode uh, if you want to of course. Um, some people prefer to play on DirectX 11. So once you're back on performance mode uh, you should be able to see these settings only now. Um, I, pre uh, I recommend to put view distance on medium, uh, textures on low, I play high meshes, my uh, computer can handle it, maybe your PC can't, just be careful with that, if you don't have a good PC don't put it on high, put it on low, um, this also disabled, I play Triton Op 10 on 150 brightness, I think this is the best setting for colorblind. Then uh, for audio, you have to put these on like the lowest everything, uh, the subtitles. And the uh, visualized sound effects uh, should be on, it's uh, kind of helpful. Because sometimes you can see footsteps uh, when you're not actually hearing them. Or uh, you can see someone gliding when you don't hear them gliding. For in-game settings, these aren't really that important. The wheel spring should be on on, auto open doors. Some people have it off, I prefer it on. Uh, hold stop to pick up is uh, very nice to have. Auto pick up weapons, uh, in some situations you need this on but I just have it off because sometimes I just pick up weapons I don't need. Preferred item slots, uh, I would configure these uh, as you're liking, uh, where you want your guns to be. For building, I would recommend uh, reset building choice on and disable pre-edit option off and this is because sometimes in competitive uh, at least uh, you need pre-edits to wipe a team real quick and it also gives you uh, less input delay when you have it off. Turbo building should be on and auto confirm edits on edits at least that's what I have. I've tried to play on none in this video uh, but it was dog shit I couldn't get used to it so I wouldn't recommend using that just play and confirm edit on release it's much faster these settings uh, should all be off except for this last one uh, this one is pretty good to have on the replays uh, I have I have them on but it causes input delay so this should be turned off when you want the least input delay and all these on off especially these ones uh, these can uh, drastically Im uh, improve your uh, game when these are turned off for the game ui radical is your crosshair this should of course be turned on uh, radical ammo indicator this uh, lets you know how much bullets you have left in your shotgun or ar so that's uh, also pretty good to have because uh, it's in the middle of the screen where you uh, just want to look uh, most of the time. Uh, I have damage numbers on cumulative so you know how much HP someone is so you don't have to calculate it yourself. For HUD options I have it on 69% uh, yeah I just these on on pick up loot stream off map and back per keys off elimination feed on because you want to see if somebody gets eliminated and who that is latest in debug stats these need these this needs to be turned off uh, this causes in input delay this uh, needs to be turned on because when you turn it on it causes less input delay these should all be turned off and I'm not gonna go through my controller settings because I don't play a controller anymore sensitivity just your mouse sensitivity in gen general uh, is just preference to be honest I'm a low sensitivity player I play on 
800 dpi 3.8 percent but for aiming it shouldn't really be higher than 50 percent because then you won't be that accurate while shooting building sensitivity and editing sensitivity i prefer to have my editing sensitivity just a tiny bit higher than my building sensitivity but that's of, of course preference for keybinds now this is where it gets interesting i play on wasq instead of wasd as you can see here uh, this is not wasq uh, because i shifted my entire bind system to the middle of the keyboard so i have more keys that i can hit with my pinky and my ring finger also the reason that i play on the wasq is because when you play wsd you have to press your d button with your index finger but when you play wsq you only press these buttons with your middle finger and ring finger which leaves space to uh, move the middle finger freely where you want it to be which is optimal for jumping i wouldn't recommend changing it uh, to uh, any other key than spacebar to be honest i have uh, sprint on what would be caps lock so uh, that's uh, pretty good to have i use it with my uh, pinky i think and crouching I, I put it on alt but on a normal keyboard it would be on control combat yeah i wouldn't really change these this is aiming and this is fire so what i would recommend to, to change is uh, scroll wheel pickup when you scroll you up uh, for every scroll you do it picks something up which is really fast for this this is just really preference uh, for building however uh, I would recommend just placing any two of the build pieces I have wall and stairs on your mouse side buttons and the other two on your keyboard the thing that I have different uh, than many other players is place building which I uh, primary place with my right mouse button instead of the left mouse button and uh, I go much more in depth in this video where I show you why it's better uh, but in a nutshell it basically lets you place builds faster while pressing less buttons so this is really good I got used to it in like three days but I uh, basically no life did so you should get used to it in about a week and uh, trust me it, it uh, makes your gameplay way smoother for building edits I have uh, yeah this would be my E key so it would be next to my W uh, but I also use scroll wheel reset so when I scroll my mouse wheel down edit it because and then also when I scroll once more so I have to scroll two times I get to reset uh, build edits so when I make a window I just scroll down two two times and I reset the wall almost instantly rest of the settings don't really matter that much so uh, I wouldn't really copy these uh, this like what what is rocket racing I don't think uh, you need my settings for rocket racing to be honest so these were my settings i hope you learned something new if you have any questions uh, just leave them down below i'll try to answer them yeah and i'll see you in the next video goodbye oh and i almost forgot you gotta use code kentorofn in the fortnite item shop so i get your money thank you